Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have bounced from the 300 moving average, and we continue to rally and found quite a little bit of resistance just here at the 20 exponential. 200 moving average is just above, and then we also have the 40 exponential just above. This was an area where we just went sideways for a very long time. So it is fairly likely that we are going to find major resistance there. And if that is the case, then we could turn around here and head back towards the 300 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is bullish, and CCI is bearish, and the RS stochastic is becoming bullish. We are running into the middle of the Bollinger Band um, and finding resistance there. So probably the main reason why we bounced from here is because we were significantly overstretched and uh, usually a bounce is happens after that. But it doesn't really mean that we're going back to these highs. We're still technically in a downtrend here, found support at the 300 moving average, and now we're just bouncing. And if we turn around here, then the 300 moving average could be tested again. So US dollar, Japanese yen, we fell quite significantly down towards the 150 moving average. And since then we have rallied. We are struggling here at the 50 moving average and the, yeah, basically 50, 40 and the 20 exponential are all in the same area. And we're also struggling here basically in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So this could be just a continue, continuation of these moves up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and then going lower and lower. So if we get rejected here, then we could be testing the 150 moving average yet again. However, other technical indicators are not that uh, favorable of that outcome. MACD is turning around here, it's still bearish. The RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is very bullish indeed. So Euro, US dollar. So this just goes slowly lower and lower and lower towards 1170 at this uh, current stage. So we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential and got really rejected at that point. We're basically at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So yes, um, it's not until we basically break this uh, level here that we'll have a major move to the downside. Don't really see any major upside in this market at this point as we are getting rejected really heavily at the 20 exponential. US dollar is appreciating and that will work against uh, the euro us um, currency pair so if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is flat the rsi is bullish the stochastic is the cci is bearish and the stochastic is bearish as well we are at the bottom so we may just see more of this choppiness until we get towards 1170. so aussie dollar us and us dollar we can see that we have rallied from this point here at zero point is 70 um, 72 and we're approaching 0 0.74 which should be a fair amount of resistant we just have that we have the 20 exponential just above as well so we may well rally up towards this point and then break continue breaking down as we have done for the last basically um, last month we have been rallying up towards the 20 exponential and then just breaking down at this point long-term perspective probably will be down here at 0 0.70. Technically, indicators. otherwise, we can see the MACD is bearish, as the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bearish, as the stochastic is in negative territory by crossing the signal line, so becoming bullish. So we may see this rally up towards this point here and before uh, dropping lower. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we ran into major resistance at the 300 moving average and then broke down. And then we have found support at the... Uh, 200 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average right at the same level. If we break below here, then the 150 is right underneath. But if you just look how this has been behaving, middle of the Bollinger Band is kind of where we have found support in the past. And as long as that is the case, then we're just going to basically go higher. If we found, we have find quite a lot of stabilization here one or two more days at the same level, then this could basically go and test the 300 moving average again. 
If we look at the technical indicators, here, we can see the MACD is becoming bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bullish, and thus the CASIC is bearish at this current stage. So I'll break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could drop all the way down to 12.30. So hope you find this helpful. You're on the support channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.